Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news coming out of Syria. Uh, there is, you, of course, the U.S. base down by De Azor. That's in the uh, southeast corner of Syria. Uh, we've talked about this region, uh, U.S. base there, on numerous occasions. But this base has come under rocket attack. Uh, it is believed to be by the Iranians who also are in this area. We got this information from our good friend uh, Lior, uh, Israeli journalist in Israel. This happened a little bit earlier today, probably around 3 p.m. Uh, there is report of U.S. casualties in this strike that is going on there. Uh, we are still waiting to see if there's any other information coming out uh, of Syria or when and if uh, uh, President Biden is going to speak about this or if he'll even speak about this and what will be US, the U.S.'s response uh, to this uh, latest attack that has happened uh, uh, on U.S. forces there in Syria. Now, there has been... Uh, threats by Iran uh, to strike U.S. bases in the Middle East there. Uh, we were aware of this as well. We have not um, uh, seen anything until now. They've made good on that threat. Uh, we have seen those strikes that have happened in the past last year over in Iraq, uh, but now the base at Deir Azor. And of course, uh, since Biden has become president, there, there still has been ongoing uh, skirmishes inside of Syria, but Biden has not been so much uh, wanting to deal with Iran itself. In fact, he's had a stand down policy when it comes to Iran. But Israel, on the other hand, is still pushing to get uh, Iran out of Syria, and that has not stopped yet. So we'll have to wait to see how this plays out. Of course, I'm always thinking, too, in the back of my mind, a false flag type of event. We talked about that uh, right back in December, that there was a possibility that would happen. We'd gotten that from uh, some folks inside of Iran that had intercept Intel communique that was talking about a possible false flag event in order to drag the United States into a war with Israel against Iran. But you have to remember, Iran is a nuclear power. They do have nuclear bombs, and they are very much a real threat in the region. Uh, not just the region, but also for the United States, uh, for that matter. So you just don't want to just go up there and start agitating that situation and causing things to get worse. And speaking of agitating the situation, we reported to you yesterday about Ukraine and that Biden, uh, he had had a, uh, some, some meetings there, at least at his administration there, recently in Ukraine there, and had worked out a deal with the Ukrainian government to try to poke the Russian bear militarily, not really wanting to create an all-out war, but he's trying to, to steer Russia out of Ukraine so that the U.S. can, can monopolize on the gas uh, monopoly in the country there that would supply Europe. Uh, as we know, Russia has the Nord Stream 2 pipeline that they have constructed in cooperation with Turkey, and they have offered uh, the gas much cheaper than that of what the United States would be offering along with Israel. But as we have stated before, Israel, uh, our good friends over there that uh, are in the intelligence community in Israel, has said to us on a repeated basis, and we've reported this over the past year or so, that it's all, when it comes down to Syria, these pipelines and everything, it's all about the oil and gas. And Israel is not going to allow even Russia to get in the way of that. Well, as we said, we, we told you yesterday, uh, or the day before yesterday, actually, I believe this was, when we'd gotten this information that um, you would see that Ukraine military would begin to... Uh, it would be a front for the media that the Ukraine military was actually working on trying to recapture some of its land. Well, sure enough, one of the first reports we've seen on World Socialist website, WSWS.org, says Ukraine approved strategy to recover Crimea, threatening an all-out war with Russia. That was March 19th, 2021. That came out four days ago. Uh, and, of course, that's actually even before I had reported it, but I had not caught that article as of yet. 
But uh, says Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitry Kaliba announced this week that the country's National Security Defense Council had approved a strategy that is aimed at retaking Crimea and reintegrating the str strategically important peninsula. Crimea, a peninsula in the Black Sea, was annexed by Russia in 2014 following a U.S.-backed far-right coup in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. Uh, Anyway, there's a lot of debates on that. I have never agreed uh, with that narrative that Crimea actually belongs to Ukraine. There's a lot of history behind this issue there. Russia has always had their navy there, and we've, we've discussed this in times past there. And, of course, the, in eastern Ukraine, the uh, Donetsk and Luhansk, these are more ethnic Russians that uh, live in Ukraine that are also Ukrainians. They've always gotten along with the western Ukrainians until uh, this war that was instigated by Barack Hussein Obama that really spiraled out of control. And it's always been about... Uh, gas and things like that and monopolizing everything. So Biden is just back to his old tricks there. He's lining his pockets of himself and his family. And, uh, and of course, many other of his friends there, even over in the Middle East there, you know, that little country not too far south. Uh, as you cross over Turkey, go a little bit further south there. Yeah, he's helping everybody as he goes along there. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and that's what the real issue is. It's not about taking back Crimea or reestablishing Ukraine. This is all about pushing Russia out of the natural gas market for Europe and Ukraine. So uh, at any rate there, and just to show that this is getting to be a serious situation, uh, Donbass war update, the, the Uni, Union uh, uh, news site there, which is Ukrainian site there, uh, is blaming Russia for five ceasefire violations on March the 22nd. Uh, but Russia is rolling their tanks, were spotted rolling through the town of Horlivika, Donetsk, this past week and moving towards the line of contact with the Ukrainian military. So it seems that Russia is taking this seriously. And of course, we just had recently uh, where uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the fact the Union uh, Ukrainian, they were debunking, saying, no, there were no Russian tanks moving towards the contact line, stuff like that. Well, here they are. And yes, they are moving towards that contact line. So uh, I hate to break it to you guys. Uh, it is true. And uh, that information is accurate. Uh, Yahoo News reporting Russia and China lash out at a destructive U.S. and United Front against the West. Uh Again, it just shows that was one kind of my analysis on this whole situation, as I shared with you the other day. Uh, the Pentagon recently did a new evaluation of whether or not we could end up with war with China. I've spoke to you about this before, how they believe we'd be with war with China by 2024. And now the Pentagon in their latest assessment still holds to this. We're going to be in an all-out world war, and China will be our main enemy that we will be confronting, and they actually have stepped it up by one year, believing that this could happen in 2023, or as early as 2023. So my thought uh, was with this situation with Ukraine, is that Biden, even though I've been told that he's basically undermining the country from within, uh, is only poking at Russia with, with Ukraine, uh, putting them out there to push the Russian bear just to help escalate the situation. Which, what would that do? You have to remember, Biden is very pro-China anyway, and uh, China is the military superpower that Israeli intelligence has said to me will be the next world superpower, and is who Israel will be using, which is pretty obvious with all the changes Israel has been making with its military ports, uh, both in Haifa and also in Ashkelon, China being the one building them and calling the shots about how America will be allowed to enter those ports with military uh, uh, ships with no planes, etc., on deck. So, yeah, they're calling the shots there. So Russia and China uh, are strengthening their ties. And when the time comes and they're ready to uh, really just kind of try to crush America, uh, they're going to have Russia on their side as well. And it's going to end up being two major superpowers coming against the United States, which is not going to be good. But, you know, before all that happens, Biden has got a new plan as well, and that's to disarm this nation as best he can. So he is considering gun control executive orders, Pasaki says. 
uh, Biden is considering that. And also he's pushing now for an all out ban on assault rifles uh, here in the United States there. And of course, no doubt we have all these nice new false flag events popping up, gun shootings and things like that. And everybody's going to be made to believe that these are real. And maybe some of them are real. Maybe they really do go in there. I mean, We've seen it before. They had the one in Florida there where uh, the teacher was wondering why the police were shooting at the students there. Uh, when at the time, the young man that was accused of hearing voices and, and, and was arrested and, and charged for this assault on all these kids there was already leaving the school. So, uh, yeah, there's some really weird things that happen out there and they'll do whatever it takes to be able to disarm this nation so that when the Chinese do roll in, you will be completely defenseless. So if it's not one way they take you out, they'll be looking for the war to finish you off. Uh, that just seems to be the obvious outcome. Also, he'd mentioned the other day, our good friend Leo had also sent us the Dead Sea Scroll Discovery brings tantalizing prospects of more yet to be found. Uh, this was uh, no doubt Septuagint documents because they were in Greek there. On the day that uh, saw the Israel Antiquities Authority unveil the first Bible scroll fragments found in decades and numerous other dazzling artifacts from the Cave of Hora above the Dead Sea, including a huge 10,500-year-old complete woven basket, the oldest in the world. Perhaps the most extraordinary news is that there are another 20 promising caves holding untold potential treasures that have yet to be excavated. Uh, that means the dozens of fragments shown to the public on Tuesday could mark the beginning of an exciting new era of discovery 60 years after the last major scroll find. Since 2017, IAA uh, spearheaded the ambitious survey of some 500 caves in the Judean desert and precedently wide-ranging and physically daring operation involving uh, rappling down rock faces uh, and setting up work camps on sheer cliffs. Uh, Anyway, I, I'm very much interested myself uh, in these latest fragments that uh, that have been found there because that is something that we do. We study uh, Dead Sea Scroll fragments. I've been doing that for years now and uh, part of the society uh, in Israel where we have access to a lot of that information. So we're going to be really looking into this uh, ourselves and who knows what you might be able to glean. Of course, the sad thing is they never, ever, ever give you everything. Just like the Dead Sea Scrolls, they never, ever reveal everything they found. Uh, so much of this is always hidden and only made public after they've scrutinized it and made sure it's nothing that's going to condemn them uh, or cause more problems. Anyway, I want to throw this picture up on the screen for you. Okay, try not to get sick. But anyway, Hillary and Kamala Harris. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, these two were in a very serious argument. Uh, seems like Kamala Harris is really promoting the idea that she is going to be the next president of the United States, letting us know that she uh, realizes that Biden's time is very short, won't be around long. Uh, but Hillary Clinton, as I've been told, is the one running things at the White House. Uh, she has been. Biden, of course, is in no position to be able to do so. And uh you know, and Kamala is a very smart, educated woman from what I've been told. But yet at the same time, uh, they're using Hillary Clinton to keep everything on track uh, according to what the plans of the elitists want uh, that are that is supposed to be done. So they got into an argument as Kamala Harris was telling Hillary that uh, I am going to be the next president of the United States, the most powerful woman in the world, and uh, I will be the one calling the shots and not you. And Hillary, from what I was told, retorted back, this woman doesn't seem to get it. You don't know how things are ran in Washington, D.C. So, and then on top of it, uh, to beat all, I also got a message uh, from... Uh, uh, Oh, let's see here. To confirm all that type of stuff there, it said also reiterated that the VP would be disposed of by individual in charge. Hmm. Wonder what all that means. Anyway, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, uh, listen, I notice a lot of a lot of folks there. They took advantage of the. Uh, EMP shield discount. I don't know if they still have that on with all this talk of war and stuff, though. Uh, I think it is very prudent that uh, keep that in mind there. 
but I just wanted to make mention that uh, I was glad to see that people are taking, uh, getting an EMP shield for protecting of their devices very seriously. So I'll real quick look to see, uh, I know they had this additional discount on their website. I just want to see if that's still the same case there. Uh, so let's just click on one of their products for home protection. And because uh, we were saying, you know, add that to your cart. And of course, if you use the code of INL50, you get a discount, right? You get a $50 discount. But EMP Shield also was having, yeah, it does seems, it seems it's still there. I just saw there on the top there, their COVID relief. Uh, yeah, see, they still have the COVID relief discount of $30. So if you add the INL50, you're going to get that on top of their COVID relief discount. All right, so let's just see if that worked out right. Yeah, so it dropped that particular price from $389 down to $309. So I, I just wanted to share that with you again, and I don't do this to put any pressure on you guys. I don't I, honestly, seriously, I do not mean to do that. But look, if you can save money, you've been thinking about getting it, but you realize, you know, it's a little costly, you know. Uh, I want to make sure you're aware of a time when you can save money on it. So just throw that out there for you again. But don't forget to do INL50 as your coupon code, uh, because otherwise uh, you you would be paying a lot more. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, if you were to add more than one item, we'll just try it. Let's just see if it does it. You're going to get that every time you purchase another item at the same time. So let's go to the cart. Let's just see if that's the way it works. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see if that is the case. I know it is with the INL50 code. So let's let's apply another code on here for INL50. Apply that coupon and let's see if they're going to give it to on, on both deals there. So let's scroll down. All right. Oh, actually, they up the COVID relief. I, I, may, I guess it's if you buy more than one. So, yeah, you're getting the $100 for $250 discounts for the INL50. And they upped it to $40 off for each product. So you get $80 off. So you're saving $180 when you bought two different items. Uh, so, yeah, it's... So that, I just I say that it's an important time to get, to get, this, uh, to get this product if you're wanting to protect... Uh, your valuables, your vehicle, generator, solar panels, uh, appliances, whatever the case may be, whether it be from lightning, EMP strike, uh, which is an electric magnetic pulse uh, that could be done with any type of nuclear device, uh, but especially with the things that we're being told about the storms that are going to be coming, the unusual lightning uh, and things like that. I just wanted to just make sure you are aware of this, that there is a very good discount right now on purchasing your EMP shield. Don't know how long that sale is going to go on, uh, but you know, if you get in there and it happens to be removed and you just want to wait to maybe they have another sale, I understand, not a problem. But anyway, God bless you. Thank you for, for watching. Don't forget IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website. You can also watch the videos on our website now. And that's actually thanks to iConnectFX.com. And also, Israeli News Live is going to be the beta test for iConnectFX.com. Starting next week, you will be able to listen to our broadcast in uh, multiple languages. Uh, we'll be the only uh, uh, outlet that will be allowed to use it in the beta test for about a month or so. And it will be available in Hebrew, Russian, Spanish, and one other language. I forget what it's going to be. I think it's French. Uh, so... Definitely share it with your friends. When you listen to the videos there, you'll be able to click on a little box there and the, right up in there when you're doing the video. It'll give you the language that you want to hear it in. And you will actually hear, if I'm teaching Bible and you wanted to hear me say it in Hebrew, it will actually translate everything I say in the Hebrew language. Uh, it'll, or, and it's not words on the bottom. It's going to be a voice of a Hebrew speaker speaking as I speak, and you'll hear the Hebrew or Russian or whatever language it may be. Spanish, and we've had a lot of people request Spanish, so we're very excited. In fact, iConnectFX.com is the first, first uh, a company to ever or to actually roll this particular thing out. So uh, just for your knowledge, uh, and I'll just quickly, I connect, oh goodness, I, I did it wrong. I connect 
fx.com. Uh, sign up and, and subscribe. This this company is growing. And maybe one day I'll take and I'll do a video on how this platform works. Uh, it's not that bad. I know some people had not signed up because they were saying, oh, they want too much private information. All these two-step uh, no, uh, two step authentication sites like Facebook, uh, YouTube, etc., they require the same information. Uh, but I was told, though, you, if you're concerned about like your zip code and stuff, put a zip code of another place. You don't have to necessarily put your zip code in uh, where you live at. So I have been told a little bit more about that type of information. There's some th ways you can get around things if, you, if you're trying to protect where you live at, things like that. But um, uh, there, and there's actually a couple of statements that I was given to, to let you guys know about why things are done. Uh, but it, it is, they do follow the, pretty much the same principle that other companies are following, like, like I said, on, on those issues there. Uh, and also to protect your privacy. I know that has something to do with that. Anyway, uh, uh, listen, God bless you all. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live. Good evening.